Here's an easy beginner embroidery project that celebrates your favorite constellation. Follow along to see how I made it, and also this glowing version made with LEDs and conductive thread. I started by putting the dark blue fabric in the hoop by sandwiching it between the inner and outer rings and pulling it taut while tightening the screw. Then I drew the constellation pattern with a water-soluble marking pen. I printed out the pattern and traced it using my USB light box, but you could also tape it up to a window or use your laptop screen as a light box instead. Next, I threaded a needle with some white embroidery floss. I used three strands, which I separated from the full thickness. The way I start stitching is from back to front, leaving a few inches of floss tail at the back. Instead of knotting the floss, I like to secure that tail using the future stitches. This keeps the embroidery nice and flat, but it's also okay to tie a knot in the floss if that's what you want to do. For the lines connecting the stars in my constellation, I'm just stitching back and forth between the front and the back wherever I want the line to be. If you skip ahead and stitch back, like I did in this sample, it's called a back stitch. But I also use a running stitch to make the long lines. The other type of stitch I'm using is for the stars, and that's called a French knot. I come up from the back of the fabric and pull the floss all the way tight. Then I'll take my needle in my right hand, my dominant hand, and grab the floss near the fabric with my other hand. With the point of the needle facing away from the hole in the fabric, I'll wrap the floss around the needle a few times, and then pierce it through the fabric close to where it originated. All while holding the floss slack snug with my other hand, I'll pull the threaded needle through the newly formed knot to the back of the fabric until the slack neatly tightens to form a knot. The size of the French knot depends on how much floss you're using and how many times you wrap it around the needle. Back to the Zodiac Constellation design. I used a combination of running and back stitches and French knots to follow along the lines I drew on the fabric earlier. To end the floss at the back when you're running low, I just use the needle to thread it through the backs of some other stitches and cut off any extra. Then I sprayed the whole thing down with water and used a paper towel to lift away the water-soluble pen marks. Before I could hang it on the wall, I wanted to take care of the extra fabric along the edge. I cut it to match the shape of the hoop, then gathered it at the back with a running stitch and some plain thread. But if you didn't like the wood hoop look, you could also mount this in a standard picture frame or even sew it into a pillow cover or quilt. While this embroidery is perfectly fine on its own, you know I couldn't resist adding LEDs to this space themed project to bring it to the next level. I'm using my LED sewing kit, which has everything I need for a project like this. You can pick one up in my shop. I'll put a link in the description. And that's also where you'll find a step-by-step -step tutorial for this project with a diagram to be sure you get everything right. 
I'm starting with the same embroidery as before, except I've picked three big stars for the LEDs and left those spots blank instead of the usual French knots. Then I pierced the LED legs through the fabric in those spots and splayed them out at the back. Then I took a pair of pliers and I twisted each longer positive LED leg into a loop so that they're easier to tell apart. Next, I stitched on the battery holder using conductive thread somewhere towards the middle of the design. I attached it to the backs of the stitches where possible and just caught a few fibers of the fabric everywhere else so you won't be able to see very much of the conductive thread on the front of the design. I attached all the positive LED legs to the positive contacts of the battery holder and likewise all the negative contacts connect to ground. The battery holder has plus and minus signs, marking which contacts are which. This conductive thread is really springy, so I needed to tie several knots and tuck in the thread ends where they can't spring apart and touch positive to negative, which would make a short circuit. The battery holder has a little switch on it, which makes it easy to turn the LEDs on and off. I'll be doing a Constellation embroidery giveaway to my patrons on Patreon. This video was made with generous donations from viewers like you through Patreon and YouTube memberships. I hope you'll subscribe with the bell to be notified of my future uploads, subscribe to my email newsletter, and find me on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.